everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are trying out all new makeup. I have the Hourglass new foundation, a bunch of new things from Givenchy, Rare Beauty, you name it. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm gonna pull my hair back really quick. Um, I have the new Hourglass foundation. We're gonna get into that really quickly. First, I wanna use, I, <laughs> forgot to mention during my Chantecaille recommendations, the um, Chantecaille Eye Lift. And it was because I had, my, the one that I was using was empty. It was completely empty. But I forgot that I had another one that I had up here in my studio that I had put in a drawer for like using it right before I, I put on makeup. Totally forgot it was there. Um, anyway, so this is the Rose de May Eye Lift. And this is a really good product. So basically you squeeze the little amount there. You can kind of see it like pop up hopefully. You don't need too much. And then this little um, metal like piece on the end is really cooling and you can just kind of rub it back and forth. I always pat it in. I have to remember that I have that up here now. Um, I always pat it in my eyes and I put it on my eyelids as well. It gives a really nice tightening lifting effect, but it's not uncomfortable. You know, like there's some lifting products where you're just like, Ooh, now my eyes hurt. This, this is not like that at all. This is a really comfortable product. Um, so that's the Rose de May Eye Lift. Rose de May? Rose de May. Rose de May. One of the ones. <laughs> Whatever. I, I will tell you guys again, I'm in one of those like spicy, salty moods because I have a headache again or I'm getting a headache and I think it's the, I think it's the heat. I think that's what's doing it. Um, Everyone loved Salty Jennifer. Everyone loved Salty Saturday. So I'm going to keep bringing those back. So I don't worry. It's going to be like a, I'm going to have like a series. I'm not going to do them all the time, but when I'm, when I'm at my like limit with something, I'll, I'll make sure I record the video anyway, but you might get a little of that in this video too, because my head hurts. Yeah. Any of you who suffer from migraines know that like they start like in your neck or in the back of your head and they're not so bad at first. And then, you know, unless you get them under control quickly, um, they get worse, which is why I have tea here. I'm drink, trying to drink some caffeine. Sometimes caffeine helps. I've got a bottle of water, you know, the whole thing. So anyway, I'm trying to get this video in before it gets too bad. So I'm taking a sip of my tea. Okay, while we let the eye stuff set in, this is the Hourglass Foundation. So um, I don't have any Hourglass Foundations. I know, strange. Um, it says it's the ambient, so it's for part of the ambient um, collection from Hourglass. Soft Glow Foundation, uh, one fluid ounce, which is 30 milliliters. Let's just see um, if there's anything. Directions after applying primer, apply foundation to the center of the face. Blend outwards using the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation brush. I did not buy the brush. I will tell you though, I do have it in my cart because I do love the Hourglass brushes, especially if you're somebody who uh, wants vegan brushes, if you want synthetic brushes. The Hourglass ones, at least all the ones I've used, have been phenomenal. So I'm definitely gonna pick up that brush. Um, brush into buffly skin, build until desired level of coverage is achieved. Okay, I mean, yeah, sounds reasonable. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any ingredients on here. The first ingredient is water, so it's a water-based foundation. Um, the reason that it's important, just to mention, if you put on an oil-based primer, sometimes you'll have issues with a water-based foundation and oil-based uh, primer. Just, you know, sometimes, not always. Uh, let's see, vegan, 12 month, yeah, 12 month shelf life. I'm just looking to see if there's anything in here that would like pop out at me as is maybe being a problem like alcohol. I don't think so. If there is something that pops out later when I can look at this under a microscope because the printing is so tiny, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, I'll make sure the price is down below um, in the like little tag there. I don't have it in front of me. All right, so I know this is a median foundation. I picked it up in shade three. Now shade three was supposed to be like a light neutral. I had already tried this out and it is a little deep on me. I think I need the 2.5. There was a 2.5 cool, which I'll probably get, but we'll see how well this works. You can see it's very creamy. <laughs> it's thick. Um, I, I think, like I said, it's a little too, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we do it today, but I, I think it's going to be a little too um, uh, yellow for me. You can see it's just a little too when, they, when people say neutral, a lot of times I don't find it's really all that neutral. Neutral always looks yellow to me, but that could be because my skin does have such um, pink undertones in it. So anyway, but I think the 2.5 cool is probably going to end up being 
my correct shade. So let's just start pushing this in. This is a, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, Anissa brush, the pinnacle brush, foundation brush. I really like this brush. I just ordered um, another brush from Anissa. I forget the name of it. I think it's a powder, I don't know, maybe a concealer brush, but I really like this brush. I think it works extremely well. I've used it uh, repeatedly on my channel and I've used it with lots of different foundations. Never had a problem with it. I actually have a couple of foundation brushes that I like. This one I like because of the shape. The fact that you've got this like triangle, it works well to get it like, you know, up here in your brows if you've already done your brows, that kind of thing. And I'm just kind of stamping it in. I've also heard that the new Lancome foundation is nice, but I haven't picked that up. So let me know if you have interest in it. And if you do, I will try it. All right, well, so far, it actually looks quite nice. And the shade, although a little, I mean, I'll have to see how it looks when I put on, you know, um, blush and, and bronzer and stuff. But actually, I think the shade is okay. What do you guys think? I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I'll have to look at it in natural light. I have natural light coming in, but I also have all my, you know, lights up for the, I have natural light and lights up. So maybe we'll look at it like in direct, direct sun and see how it looks. But I think that shade match is not bad. Okay. So I got all the redness. I think it's a medium light coverage the way that I put it on. I put it on the back of my hand, I used one pump and I used a brush and I sort of stamped it in. Um, well, let's see if we can build it up a little bit through uh, my cheeks. I would stop at this level though. I don't like a very heavy, you know, coverage foundation. Um, I like something that's light, even like more like a tinted moisturizer. So, um, it's fine that this isn't, like this is a good uh, coverage for me. I think if you use the sponge, you would get less, fingers more. Yeah, this, okay. Yeah, that definitely did build a little. You could get to like a more medium coverage. I'm just going over the spots where I have redness. I am gonna see my dermatologist in like two weeks to see if I can get lasers done because the redness is really bothering me. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I think that's a beautiful finish. So far, it looks really nice. I'm looking at my 10X mirror. It's not settling into pores. It doesn't age me. Um, yeah. So like I said, I think the color might be a little yellow, but it's not, it's not bad. Yeah, we'll have to see how it wears. I'll wear it out, that kind of thing. But I think actually, the match, like the shade is pretty good. It might just be a little too warm for me, but not too bad. Okay, so let's do, let's do the uh, Givenchy products next. Now, like I said, we'll see how this wears. So far, so good. It feels a little tacky, not like sticky, just a little tacky, which is not like a bad thing, actually. Um, a lot of times I will let my like foundation sort of sink in a little bit before I put powder products on. But you know, my skin is so dry that feeling a little tacky is good. If my skin feels completely dry, um, the minute I put a foundation on, that is probably not gonna wear well because <laughs> it's gonna soak in, my skin's gonna eat up all the moisture and then I'm gonna wanna pull my skin off later. Uh, okay, so these are the uh, Givenchy Prisme Libre Highlighters, the Rouge Sheer Velvet, and the Rose Perfecto Lip Balm. They come in the pink packages. I think they're at Sephora right now. I'm sure they're gonna be at other places soon. This is part of the fall collection. I don't know if it's the entire fall collection. I do know there's a nine pan eyeshadow palette that comes with this as well. I've totally forgotten the number now. If I can remind my, if I can figure out where I put it, I'll put it down below. But there is a nine pan eyeshadow palette that comes with this. Um, I'm gonna check out Harrods and see if, I'm um, check out with my SA over there and see if they're gonna get it. This all popped up on Sephora, so I'm gonna assume Sephora is gonna get it, but it's always a mistake to, to assume things, just in general, but especially these days. So let's talk about these products. So first we've got the highlighter. Um, it's a two color loose powder highlighter. 
Uh, it says a breath of pearlescent light for complexion enhanced with a multidimensional radiance. Power invites a subtle well of colored shimmer. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Buildable, all that good stuff. It's limited edition. The shade number is 11. 0.21 ounces. I will admit completely that the reason I picked these up was the packaging. I'm not a big pink person, in fact, not to get anyone like really mad at me, but I kind of hate pink. I don't know why, but just pink. I don't know. Anytime I see something like bright pink, I'm always just like, ugh. But, but, um, the way they did the packaging, she she just does a, a great job with all the packaging. It was just really cool. It was just really different. And I loved the way they did it. So I was like, well, I have to pick this up. Uh, plus, I put it on Instagram. You are all like, pick it up, pick it up. So I'm going to take the sticker off. If you haven't seen these before, you got to take the little sticker off the, um, the uh, powder because otherwise nothing will come out. <laughs> wow, that's on there pretty well. Okay. Um, so the way these work is I have a bunch of the big ones. Um, do I have any like right in front of me? Let's look. This is what happens, guys, when you have so much makeup, you're like, where did I put it? I've got more of these somewhere, but I can't think, figure out where they are right now. But anyway, this one is Sparkling Lilac. Um, this was like, I think, the winter, because this is the black velvet. And same kind of thing. You've got the two different shades, and then you, you know, pour it out into here. I actually have a couple of these. I don't know exactly where they are right now. I'll find them later. Anyway, this is the new one. <laughs> Let's talk about this one. Um, so obviously pink. Um, but it looks like there's like two light pinks and then two like deeper pinks. I'm kind of pushing it out on the um, little pad because that way you can kind of see the shades. Um, you know, this is going to be a very light shade. This is going to be a very light color, but it's going to be, I think, a very bright pink. So the way I'm going to use it as a blush slash highlighter, because I really don't think as just a highlighter, this will work. So let's try the powder, just like the puff and just do this. I get little prints on my on my face. That's kind of cute. Um, and we'll like, you know, blend it in here. But I think, yeah, I think for someone like me, as pale as I am, that works as a very, very nice, very, very light blush. So let's take, um, let's take a, this is a Sonia G classic base brush. And I'm just using that because it's a little bit more, um, it's, so I can stamp it on a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, that works. You can absolutely use a very fluffy brush. I'm using this as a more, you know, dense brush because I'm using it out of a, frankly, you know, a powder situation. Um, what the best way to do this really is to dump it into the cap. Then you use the cap as like the place for this. So now, now that I have actually a bunch of it, let me get a fluffier, a fluffier brush. Where are my fluffy brushes? What's wrong with me today? Well, I know I have a headache. That's what it is. My brain. I don't know about you guys, but like when I get a headache, everything just sort of, I'm like, what's happening? Why am I not functioning correctly? So we're going to use the, um, three. I, by the way, still haven't picked up the, um, the Sonia G Kayafi set. I'm going back and forth on it. It's not that I don't like Sonia G. I have tons of Sonia G brushes, love them. It's just that, like I said before, I have so many brushes, I feel like I shouldn't pick it up. But at the same time, I'm like, it would really be good for travel um, because I am back on the road. In fact, I'll be headed out to uh, out west for a meeting next week. Um, so I might have fewer videos than normal or maybe I'll just be doing them from uh, my meeting. <laughs> it's entirely possible. You might get, uh, you might get, um, on the road, get ready with me. So anyway, so this is the, um, I haven't picked it up yet, the Kayaki set, but I am thinking about it. So let me know if you're interested. Uh, so this is a very, very light, beautiful highlighter, which is not a surprise. I mean, Givenchy does a really good job with their products. Um, you can tell though, it's extremely light on me. Um, so I'm gonna try to build it up just a little bit. I think I am using a fluffy brush, but I think on most folks, this is gonna work as more of a uh, highlighter on me because I am so pale, I can use it as a blush slash highlighter. Yeah, I can build it up. It is buildable, which is interesting because not a lot of highlighters, well, I mean, it depends. Some are, are buildable, but yeah, I can build that up into an actually pretty, see, I mean, it's not, like I said, it's still light, but you can certainly use that as a blush, as a beautiful blush highlight. And actually, it looks really nice on me. 
I really like this. But that's because I like a really light blush. I wear very little blush, actually, even though I have a ton of it, which is fascinating. But uh, I think that looks really, really beautiful. And I will say, for those of you out there who like a pinkish blush or a pinkish highlight, you're gonna love this because it's a really finely milled powder and because it comes like a loose powder and you can basically you know, use as little or as much as you want, I think it's really easy to control it. Um, but yeah, I think that's beautiful. In fact, that's something I might bring with me on my trip because it just imparts this really nice glow. It's really, really nice, really pretty. Again though, for most people this is gonna be a highlighter if you're as pale as me or paler than me, you could definitely use it as like a blush highlighter. It's gonna be light, but you're gonna be able to see it. All right, so the two uh, lip products are very different. They're, they're total, you know, different on different ends of the spectrum. We have the uh, Blurring Matte Vibrant Color, which is in, these are all limited edition, by the way. This is um, 51, and I think it's like a brick red. Uh, it's like, yeah, brick red. Um, they say it's a sheer velvet. It says blurring matte, so we'll see. Um, oh, it's actually quite soft. Okay, that doesn't feel too bad. And as you can see, it's it's a color that I would really like because it's got kind of an orange, almost like brick red kind of shade, which is what they described it as. And then the other thing is the Beautifying Lip Balm, which is a totally different product altogether. Uh, it is also limited edition and it's shade 525. Comes in the thin and this is really very much just a, a light balm, which you know I'm gonna love because I love products like that. That's my thing. Love a light balm. Uh, so let me just show you the outside packaging of these and, and why I think, you know, it just sort of called to me the way they did it. The You've got the, the G's all over the pink they're embossed on it all the way around. And then you have the Givenchy, which they always do on their um, on their packaging. It's just really nicely done. It, it's just a nice, you know, if you're gonna pay all of this money for makeup, which I do, it's nice when they actually get the packaging right. Now, like I said, pink is not my favorite color. If this was like blue or something, I probably would have bought like four of them, but anyway, or green. Uh, but I really like the way they did this. So today we've got this very light pink look on the cheeks. And someone mentioned to me that they'd like to see a video where I showed you like how to mit how to match, not, not specifically color to color, but like your eyeshadow to your lips, to your blush, that kind of thing. And how to do that, like how to look for the right undertones and how to figure out what shades go well together. Um, and I actually am gonna do a video to, to talk about that. But today I'm gonna incorporate a little bit of it and just mention, this is a very light icy pink shade. My undertones are pinkish anyway. If I use the brick orangey red on my lips right now, it would work, I could do it, because the blush isn't that strong, so it would probably be fine, as long as I stuck to a warmer shade on my eyes. If you're looking for a cohesive look, that's what you wanna do. You don't have to do that. There are a lot of people who would like a very eclectic look who would use ice pink on their lips, um, bright orange on their cheeks and blue on their eyelids. Like you could do anything you want, but if you're looking for something cohesive that kind of pulls everything together, you wanna have the same undertones in the makeup that you're using. So since I use this like very light pink on the cheeks, I'm gonna to keep to that undertone on my lips and my eyes. So let me explain how I'm gonna do that. First, um, I picked up the Rare Beauty pencil. I picked it up in shade, hmm, what shade is it? It's a good, it's a good question. I don't know what shade it is. I know I ordered a shade, but what shade was it? Hmm, is it on here anywhere? Come on, like it has to be on here and I'm just missing it. Wise, it's wise. I did not pick up any of the lipsticks because they're matte and I was just like, I'm not gonna like them, don't pick them up. So that's wise. It's definitely got a brownish pink. I'm gonna like the shade. So I'm gonna put it on my lips and then we're gonna use the balm over it because the balm has more of this coolness that the cheeks do. And then I'm gonna put something on my eyes that again has like a coolness to it. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the products um, and see what we think. Love the shade, absolutely love the shade. 
What I don't love about this um, is this weird uh, shape at the top. Like, it looks like it hasn't, it's like just the tiniest bit is out. Like, the rest of it is like plastic, and so it doesn't look like it's um, all the way up which is odd to me, um, but it's because you can, it's a turn, you turn the bottom of it, so you can turn it up and then hopefully we can turn it down, you can. So it goes up and down. So that I like. I also like the fact that there's a sharpener in the base, like the Chanel's of old. So you have a sharpener in the base and it's a twist up and twist down. Okay, now I like the, t the, t the top of it. At first I was like, it's too low, I don't understand. So that's why. Great color. I love the fact that it twists up and down, actually. That is awesome. Okay, really nice. We'll see how well the pencil works, like how long it lasts and all that good stuff, but love the fact that uh, it twists up and down and it has a sharpener, built-in sharpener. All right, so let's use the balm, because like I said, the balm is a very light pinkish shade. And with this liner underneath, I think it'll be perfect for me. I love these types of shades. I love like a, a pinky balm nude kind of shade. This is probably gonna go in my purse because this is great. And so far, I love the liner. It's, it's holding well. Like you can tell sometimes when you put a liner on, it's too, too dry or uh, too sticky. This one is really, really nice. It works really well. Like I said, the, the, sh the matte, I'm gonna try it. It says sheer velvet on the bottom, but the box says La Rouge sheer velvet and then blurring matte vibrant color. So I'm not absolutely sure <laughs> how it's described it anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, so let me put on a little bit of eyeshadow and then let's talk about the look overall. I'm gonna use the Imperial Moon by Guerlain. This is the new fall collection from Guerlain. The liners I've ordered, I actually don't have them yet. Um, and um, let's see, the mascara I've used lipsticks i don't have the lipsticks yet either so when they come i will show you what those are like but i've done videos on all the uh the eyeshadows so let's just do a really simple look this is the deepest shade in there it's a very deep brown it's almost like black um it's like a grayish brown black uh yeah it's very deep but these are all incredibly pigmented shadows and as i said in my videos with this I would pick up any of these. I have all of them except for the pink pink one. As I mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of pink. However, I actually have been thinking about getting it. Now that they're on Sephora, I might because, you know, I feel like the formula is so good that the pink one that I saw originally, it looked just really too pink to me. But now that I look at it, uh, in better pictures. It does have a brown in there. I haven't decided, but I have all the rest of them. And the formula is excellent in all of them. Super pigmented, really just, they blend beautifully. Looks really nice on the eye. I, I'm really impressed with what the uh, Glowon did. So I'm gonna take, like I said, I took this deepest shade. Now I'm just gonna take the, the um, like sort of mauve-y, uh, shimmery shade and put that all over the eye. We're gonna keep it very simple. But what I wanna show you is how this all ties in with the, the pink look on my cheeks and how I kept it cool on my lips and why that works. Now, like I said, if you're you know somebody who, who likes to play around with makeup and you're doing all different types of looks, there is nothing that says you have to keep the similar undertone for all the different um, things on your face. That's not a requirement. You don't have to have a cool undertone on your cheeks and on your lips and on your eyes. It just creates a, um, a cohesion to your look, that's all. And you can see, because this is all a cool undertone. I didn't put any, um, uh, bronzer on today. I'm not going to do any bronzer. Don't always have to do a bronzer. I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara and uh, a little bit of liner. I think I'll probably just do like a black liner. Um, and then we'll uh, talk about the products. And we're back. Put on some Chanel black waterproof liner and the Chantecaille mascara, which if you haven't picked up Chantecaille, it's the longest lash mascara. It's the really expensive one. It's like $74. The thing about that mascara is it really does have like a serum in there that helps build your lashes. 
I promise you that if you use it consistently for like a couple of weeks, you'll see a difference. It absolutely is worth it. I'm not just, you know, Chantikai doesn't pay me to tell you that. It's it's really, it's a great mascara. I've been using it for quite some time. But anyway, um, okay, so let's talk about all the makeup. First of all, the foundation. So I have to say, I think the foundation looks really nice. I'm not sure about the color. I'm gonna have to see it in a uh, direct light later, but, because I don't have any bronzer on, because I wanted to keep it just the foundation to see what I thought. And to be honest with you, I actually think that the shade isn't bad. I think it might be a tad bit yellow, but I'm, first of all, I want to see if it warms up because sometimes if you wear a foundation for a little while, it changes color. So maybe the 2.5 is going to be better in cool, but we'll have to see. I'm, I'm, it's really, it's pretty close, I think. Um, yeah, I, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So I think it's a little too, I think it's a little too yellow. I think the 2.5 is going to be better, but I don't think this is bad, and I think with bronzer on, I don't think you could actually tell. So, um, but it feels really nice. We'll see how long it lasts. I'll, I'll do an update. Uh, I'll do an update, uh, hopefully on, on Instagram, to tell you how long, because I'm going to wear it all day and see what it looks like. Um, but it feels nice, and it looks it looks really good on my skin, which is the first two things uh, for someone who has dry skin and older skin. Rare Beauty pencil. I really like this. This is really nice. I love this color. Like I said, it's in Wise. I love the fact that it twists up and twists down. There's a built-in sharpener. Uh, yeah, it feels really comfortable. We'll see how long it lasts on my lips, but I do really like just using it. Um, the Guerlain eyeshadows are beautiful. This is Imperial Moon, as I said. Um, they're really good quality. If you're, if you're in the market for eyeshadow quads, they're all beautiful. Pick up the shades that you like. Um, the Givenchy. I love this, this highlighter slash blush. For me, it's going to be a little, I think a little too light to just be highlighter. But if I did it really lightly, I think it might work. Um, but I think it has enough of a shade to like have a very, very light pink blush for me. But it's like a highlighting blush and I really like the way it looks. It reminds me a little bit of the Orchid um, from Sicily, that type of thing. It has like a, sh like a luminescence to it, but also a blush. Again, it's very light for most people. I think this is going to be a beautiful highlighter, so I think it's worth picking up. The Balm. I love the Balm. I love an expensive, <laughs> like easy to wear Balm. Um, this one's great. I love the shade. It looks really nice on me and I'm more than likely going to put that in my purse. The, the, um, the lipstick, the uh, sheer velvet lipstick, it feels nice, at least on the back of my hand. It does not feel, it does not feel like it's sticking. I know it sounds odd, but like with super velvet, when you push them back and forth, you can tell like the Lisa Elders ones, for example, they are such a, a dense product that you don't want to swipe with them because the bullet's too dense and it will break. So like this, you can do that though. I have no problem swiping back and forth. There's no pull on it. Um, so I think this will be fine on my lips. We'll, we'll try it out and see what, it, what I think of it. But to me, this is like a pumpkin shade. This is very fall. Now this is supposedly the fall collection, so that makes sense. But that is very much a fall shade and will look fantastic with the Jungle Quad from Guerlain, by the way. Love that one. It's probably my favorite of all of them. So today I have no fails. I gotta say, this all looks really good. I'm actually very impressed because I bought it for the packaging, not necessarily for the products. And like I said, so far so good. The Hourglass Foundation I really like, but we're gonna have to do a wear test and see what we think. I'd love your comments on the shade though. It'd be really helpful to me. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. So thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.